In the height of summer, bike park trails can become really dusty and blown out. And whilst this is great fun for shredding, sometimes it can actually be really hard to ride. When the corners are blown out this much, you can't see, you can't see the rocks and stuff. So with that in mind, here are some of our best points for how to ride dusty bike park trails. Vision can get super difficult, especially when you're on a train with your buddies and they're kicking up a lot of dust in front of you, and especially if you're at the back or in the mid pack, it can cause a lot of dust and hinder your vision. So you don't even know what's coming up. You don't even see what the trail is. So that can get a little bit dangerous and cause you to crash in certain circumstances. So a little tip is just hang back a bit. It's not a race. Give it some time for that dust to settle and you can see what's going on. But if you're one person that kind of tends to stick on a tail, bit like me sometimes. A little bit of a tip is use your peripheral vision, take a look at the guy's tire in front and you can see what's coming. So if his tire is bouncing about, you know there's going to be some rocks and even if they turn in thick dust, you know, right, follow that tire. You're going to have the right protective gear, especially for your eyes because if you're in amongst the dust, it's going to get in your eyes and you're going to stop, you're going to start crying because it's all stuck in your eyes. So having a correct pair of goggles, such like these ones, where they all got foam inserts like that, keeps the dust out of your eyes and you can be right in the mid pack and your eyes are going to be fine. Rock features like this can be really grippy even when wet, but as soon as there's a load of dust on it, it becomes like a very fine surface and marble, so you don't want to be breaking too much on the surface. It's all about speed control just before and line choice. As you can see here, the natural line that a lot of riders are taking brings them quite close to the mud bank here that I'm standing on. And because of that, they're bringing a lot of dust down the trail, which means it's really hard to break on it. So it's a bit about creative lines here. Do your braking control when you're coming in and bring yourself out a bit wider with us. No, no dust or dirt on the rock, so you've got a lot more traction for your braking control. Right, this is a typical example of dry trails, especially when it comes to berms such like this one where there's a lack of water around. They start to crumble up just like this, which causes it to get super slippery on such a hard surface just like that. Right, you see these two holes? These are called braking bumps. So this is the place where most all the people tend to break, which causes these holes and causes a lot of loose stuff, which is gonna add a bit of a problem in the turn and make it a bit more slippery. So what you wanna do is break before the turn and come in with some speed, but don't break in these holes because it's gonna push into that loose stuff. Also, get a little bit more creative. I don't wanna hit these two little braking holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in high and catch the last bit of the berm, so I missed these two out. So fast straights like this can become really hard work when they're mega dusty like this. This is only a blue trail, this is on B-Line at Whistler, but the problem is, as soon as you come up to speed, you'll start railing towards the outside of these turns and you can't really brake heavily. So it's more about fine speed control whilst you're braking. You just wanna be feathering those brakes to keep a check on things. And when it comes to actual braking, you wanna find the straightest points to trail. You don't want to be braking on any of these turns just on the outside here. As you're braking, you want to make sure you dip those heels, you keep all your weight through your hips, lean back slightly, and then brake evenly. You don't want to jab at those brakes or pull anything too hard. So there you go, there's our five top tips on how to master dusty trails out there on the bike park. But if you want to know more bike park skills, click just down here. And if you want to know what to pack to wear at a bike park, click down here. And don't forget to click on a big globe here to subscribe. And you won't miss another video just like this one and you're subscribed. Finally, don't give it, give it a thumbs up like. <laughs> <laughs>